Ze doen alsof ze weten, maar ze weten niet de helft Niet denken dat ik stil zit, deze shit gaat niet vanzelf Ik heb mijn doel voor ogen, ja ik weet waarvoor ik werk Ben begonnen in mijn eentje, ben al lang al op mezelf Dus doe niet alsof je weet Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel And um, this is completely new to me I've never done a Q&A, get ready with me But it's Monday and um The other day I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and I also posted it on Facebook and I got a bunch of questions and I'm gonna try my hardest to answer those questions. I picked 10, 10 or 11 questions that I'm gonna answer but while I'm doing that I'm gonna get ready for work. So. The first thing I do after I apply my moisturizer is use this Charlotte's Magic Serum, whatever this is. Um, just a little bit, and I am probably gonna look over here because this is this is where my mirror is, and I just didn't. But yeah, the first question that a lot of people asked was, "Where am I from?" For those who don't already know, I am from Suriname and Suriname is a small Dutch country in South America. It's close to Brazil, Guyana and um, French Guyana. And yeah, that's where I'm from. I was born and raised in Nigeria. But yeah, there you go. Um, next I use after I put that serum on I put this the same brand Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter um, in the color 5.510 and I just put it with the wand like this like all over my face you know And on my neck um another question that a lot of people were asking was how old i am i am 26 years old you know what i find it easier to look in this um the beauty finder instead of just looking over here in the mirror but i use this huda beauty face and build it build and buff brush this is literally the shit i use this side for a foundation and this side for um concealer so i am 26 for everyone that's wondering and they were wondering if i speak dutch yes i do speak dutch and that dutch is my first language guys um yeah that's that and the shit when i put this on like this um flawless filter shit I do not really wear foundation and on a daily I don't wear foundation when I really go out go out I put some foundation on and go full glam and then I'm like catfishing you know but anyways the next question was what are some fun trips you have planned for this was on Facebook um, for this year and this might sound crazy because we have two kids and it would be better if we planned but we never really plan trips um if i'm being honest with you guys we just wake up one day and we're like maybe we should um go somewhere this weekend and then we just go and usually chris is like always agreeing with me so i just come up with the place and then chris is like yeah book it and then i'm like i book it and we go so I'm using my famous Tarte Shape Tape. I've been using this for years now in the color 44H10. And when I use it with the brush, I just, when I don't want to do full glam, I just tap this part with a little bit and put it on my face. I just, I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes really quick and that's it. But yeah, we don't really have any trips planned for this year, but I definitely want to go somewhere. I want to go somewhere in October for my birthday. I don't know where. And I want to go somewhere for Chris's birthday because he's turning 30. And I hope my parents are here so they can go with us or at least they can watch the kids. Um, but yeah, we don't really plan 
and um yeah i um have no planned trips obviously there are places that i want to go there's i want to go everywhere i want to go all over the world if i could just go and the same person asked me um another question which is also interesting i um i'm struggling to answer it but it was what was my what is my favorite trip so far um i want to say it's utah because utah has been on my bucket list for years since i was a child it was like just number one on my bucket list the day i get to travel i want to go to utah but i never really had the balls to go by myself so i went with chris <clears throat> and that was literally the most magical place ever but then again i'm in love with la like Kelly has beautiful um, scenic areas too, and um, so does Colorado. Like you know, I haven't really been out uh, outside of the states yet, um, but scenic areas, I would say Utah. <laughs> it's, it's um, but yeah, it's definitely Utah, guys. I the next question is. Did your relationship change after you guys had a baby? Huh? I want to say no. I want to say no. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my hourglass um, veil translucent, translucent setting powder. So I want to say no, it did not because everything is technically the same. If anything, we got closer. Um, but the only difference is there's babies around like there are kids around now okay um but yeah nothing really changed um our relationship actually got stronger because we have something that we both are focusing on and that is our priority um but we also say that they are not our number one PR pr priority priority and I am probably going to get a lot of hate for this. But honestly, guys, your relationship should always be your marriage relationship. It doesn't matter what. should always be your number one um, priority. Because if you're in a happy marriage or happy relationship, your kids are going to grow in, in a healthy environment. But yeah. Uh, our relationship didn't really change. If it did, it changed for the best. And it, we got closer to each other than before so yeah another question everyone was asking was uh, how old were you when you got married um i was 25 years old i don't know what else to say i was 25 years old it was about time it was the right time i just knew instantly that my answer was yes if this guy asked me the first day if i want to marry him i would have said yes so um if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm bronzing my face with the Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury in the color 310. And this is by far my favorite bronzer of all time. Um, and I also always get this smaller brush and bronze my nose a little bit. Like kind of like shape it but not contour because we're going for a day um, makeup look. And if you're wondering where my baby is, he's outside and he is chilling, guys. He is chilling. Chris is watching him over the camera. My, my nanny um, went to drop off Amalia, but she's not here back yet. So that's that. And then I go in with a clean brush and like just do this. Okay. Next, I get a blush. Probably gonna use this one liberté by nars and that looks like this and i go very lightly because it's a very intense color over here my cheeks maybe i should do another question hold on guys let me set my face a little bit I am setting with the Continuous Mist Setting Mist by Morphe. I use two settings. So guys, 
I was just checking on Ace really quick, but I was telling you guys that I have two setting sprays. I don't use them at the end. I use it while or during my makeup process. So I set everything while, you know, we're doing makeup. But my next question is, do you miss the going out life? I do not miss the going out life. I have a straight answer for that. Um, and that is because I still get to go out. Um, there's no, like, it, I feel like if I wasn't going out anymore, I would miss it. But I still go out. Um, sometimes it's with Chris. Sometimes it's without Chris. And I don't miss it. Whenever I feel like going out, I get to go out. So yeah, um, um, I'm gonna, my next question is what's your favorite Netflix show of all time? Before I start doing my eyebrows, I am using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color 375. I'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit. But my all time favorite Netflix show has to be um, Good Girls right now. That's like literally the best show ever. But I am also the biggest fan of... Um, um, let me just take a smaller mirror here. I am the biggest fan of Gossip Girl. Like that's literally my shit. So that's my answer, there you go. But guys, there's a bunch of cool stuff on Netflix, like the shows like our fire like I also, I also like the show Ginny and Georgia that show is literally the coolest show ever too but yeah I'm obsessed with good girls at the moment um yeah um let me find let me do my eyebrows really quick and then I'll be back so I did my eyebrows and um my next question is What's your favorite city? My favorite city of all time must be fucking LA. I am super obsessed with LA. My, I want to move there one day and it's just a different vibe. I love it there. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll move to another country or maybe I'll visit fucking Switzerland. I'm like, oh my god, I love, I love it here. But so far it's LA and it's, it's cool there. So yeah. I have three more questions or so. Uh, what's your favorite type of food? My favorite type of food is um, Asian food for those who don't already know. I love food and uh, Asian cuisine is literally the shit. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Chinese but um, Japanese, Indonesian, Thai, Korean and all that is the shit. I am putting a highlighter on by Huda Beauty, it's called the uh, Not Your Mama Pantyhose All Over Highlighting Powder in the color of Flora. Um, it's the shit. But yeah, that's that. My baby is kind of like freaking out, I think. So I'm gonna do one last question. This one is actually, I'll read another two or so. Do I have any best friends? I do have best friends, but I. Um, realized that in the past couple of months my actual best friend is my husband and since we got back from Suriname we've been so close like um, I feel like he now gets where I am from and like how I grew up and everything so I feel like he became even closer to me and he is without a doubt my fucking best friend right now so that's that and last but not least this one was like so many people were asking me why did i end my last relationship well let me put on some lipstick for this one actually i want to do mascara but i won't because my eye is like this one is like irritated so i'm gonna use this lipstick by huda it's called third date lightly just like that nothing need just tap 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 perfect well um why did i end my last relationship so i just picked up ace hold on ace you're gonna break all my makeup i'll give you this here how about this 
Okay, so since you guys are all asking about my last relationship, um, why I ended it, it was because it was a really toxic and violent relationship. And I, I, yeah, I was a victim of domestic violence. This guy was so insecure and jealous and violent for whatever reason. And um, I had to escape to survive with my little child, which I did. And I am literally happy that I did because I found my person and now we have one big happy family. So everything worked out, guys. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm gonna say this. If he was at least a good dad to our daughter, I would have been like, you know what? At least you, you were good to her, but he wasn't. So to me, it's like, yeah, you, you fucked up, dude. So he's not a part of our lives and he will never be because he like what is he gonna teach her how to be violent like or it's okay for guys to beat you up like no like this is literally my dream come true and we are happier than ever and this is just our lives so yeah I have um the perfect family guys but anyways um Thank you for watching and I hope I answered most of the questions or whatever you guys had and I'll see you guys in my next video and I'm sorry for not vlogging the past two weeks. I really, I really didn't feel like vlogging but I was also like super busy doing the closet sale for you guys so um, stay tuned. It's this Friday and I'm super excited for you guys and I'm, I'm super excited for myself. This is a big step. Um, that I'm making and uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what I did and um, Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next vlog Love you Bye say bye <laughs> Look at that Yes. Look at them yes. <laughs>